What's up world? Lee here with Sticks, Strings, and Other Things, my teeny tiny little corner of the internet where I come to you every other week to chit chat with you about all of the crafty things that I have been getting my hands on to. This is episode 73 and today is the 14th of November 2023. This will be going up tomorrow. I'm coming to you from a very sunny Pacific Northwest, and I'm also filming later in the day, so I have this sun thing going on, so I'm stripey today. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you like, I hope you enjoy, I hope I'm palatable enough for you that you feel like hitting that subscribe button. And if I'm not, well, I hope you find someone who suits you better, because that's how the crafting world should be. Find the things that suit you. And if you are a returning person, thank you very much for well, returning. I do not have a lot going on right now in the crafting world because I've been busy doing things. I do, however, have a cup of tea today. I do. Mm -hmm. uh, today I am drinking Lucky Irish Breakfast. Don't know what makes it lucky, but that's what it was called. Lucky Irish Breakfast. And it's a tasty black tea. Um, from Plum Deluxe. Nice enough. But uh, yeah, got some tea. When don't I? But again, yeah. Uh, in the crafting world, I do not have a lot going on because a lot of my crafting has been either non-existent or on gifts that I cannot show. So there's just a little bit for me to show today. I have also been working very, very diligently on cleaning up my craft room and organizing it, and it is becoming, um, decent. <laughs> I, I know, I know, amazing. You clean things, you put things away, you organize, and then you can find things later. Oh no. Oh no. Evidently not me, except I'm learning now, and that's all that matters. Let's get to the crafting, however. I do have a finish. I do. It's a cross stitch finish. I did finish Supernatural by the Witchy Stitcher. Let me get the board so I can display. <gasps> there she is. Oh yeah. Yes, I did make a change. I called it Betis Noir because, you know, black beasts. And here she is. This is done in the DMC, and I put this on um, 40 Count Peanut by Be Stitch Me. There is some fudging that went on in the frame, and if you can't see it, I'm not going to point it out. But it's there, and I don't care. I did finish. So when we were last here, I had finished those four, these three, this one, and I had done some work on the fairy. So since then, finished the fairy, the unicorn, unicorn, the ogre, the ghost, and the demon, and I love it. So let me, let me, let, ah! Will we leave that in? Probably because I just want to show how much of a professional I am. I'm a pro. I'm a pro. Right. Let's let's scroll slowly. Mm. There we go. Let's. Now I see why people use clips. Things are not working for me today. And there we are. Ta-da! Love it. And now this one can live in my bin of finishes with the cryptids that I finished the other year. Should I? Should I cut off the extra fabric? Yeah, I should. Am I gonna? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Time will tell. And uh, like I said yesterday on a crafty Zoom, finishing is a four-letter word for me, evidently, and I need to get over that. Right. Oh, before I continue, I have two questions for the audience. One, how do you store these? They're, they're the um, cottage garden threads. They're very, very lovely. How do you store them? Oh! Yeah, I'm totally leaving this one in because I just found some, some. I could see 
in the back that there was a hole. I could not see that there was a hole also in the front that just hadn't been punched all the way through. Well, since I store all my threads on rings, <coughs> I, just, I just solved my problem and answered my own question. So never mind. Never mind. I figured it out. You just have to make sure that the hole punch goes all the way through. I have had these for a while now. I've been trying to figure out how to hang them up because I've been cleaning up the craft room. Looked at them several, several times. Never noticed until just then that, that they are hole punched all the way through. I was very confused as to why they weren't. And now I know. Because they are. I just was blind. More proof that people should do floss tubes. You learn things while you're filming. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, my second question I don't have the answer to. I was asked by someone um, what one of the cross-stitch pieces that was living behind me was. And I looked at it and went, I don't have a clue. I don't remember at all. It's this one. So, if any of you all out there know what this was, I, I mean, it was done in 2008, so it's been a little while. If any of you know what this chart is, who did this chart, um, please, please tell me in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the box below in the comments so that I can let the person know that um, you all have better brains than I do. I tried to look it up. I don't have a clue. I, I, I've got nothing. So I go to the internet to find the answer. And if not, I tried. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I don't even remember. I have no clue who it could be, little in the name. So, outsourcing some brain space here and asking, does anybody know what this chart was? I'd like the help. Thank you. And now I can put it back. I know it's after Halloween and I still have help. This is just going to live here always because um, I forgot her name. Stitching Owl is her YouTube channel, though. Um, she gave that to me at Jacob Palooza. And so it's just going to live here. I don't care that it's technically Halloween-y. It's also just a black cat. And those are year long. So yeah, it's just going to live there. Though I probably should not put it in front of my Yule cat. They might get in a fight, so I'll just I'll balance it there. There we go. Right. So those were my questions. I answered one of them. Hopefully one of you can help me with the answer for that one. Now, I've completed all my finishes. That was just um, Betis Noir, uh, Supernatural by the Witchy Stitcher. It was a lovely piece to work on. I think I said it was a 40. It was, so it's one thread over two strands on 40 count. I don't know if I said that. I think I did say it was Peanut by Be Stitch Me. It was a lovely piece. I'm sorry that I didn't keep up on it, but I am very happy that it is now finished. It gives me a thoughts that I should start more cells, as if I don't have a bunch that I am way behind on. Who okay. cares? Right. right. Let's get to whips. Oh, which I can show two. Two. What? Mm, excuse me. I can show two whips. One is a cross stitch whip and one is a knitting whip. They are both current things that I am working on, which would make them a whip because, you know, work in progress means you're currently, currently working on them. I'm just going to describe the definitions of words today. Uh, since this is my current piece, I am leaving it on my cue step. This is, I should probably show you what it is first. This is the Scarlet House uh, a Sampler for All Seasons. This piece is living in this lovely bag by, I don't remember who, mm. dot, dot, goose, dot, 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 goose designs. And I am using the Called for NPIs, except for 
I changed out the color that was used for the letters. Uh, they had a very light brown color, not light, they had a dark brown color for the letters, but the way the picture looks, it very much looks like a black, and I liked that look better. So I am using um, Almond M&M's uh, black color, their Raven color. Still silk, just not an NPI. And here we are. I was working on this last night on a Zoom and I got a bunch of words done. So I have is hot, rainy or cold and stitch as I'm told and raindrops may fall. I think I didn't do all of those words there that, that uh, during the Zoom. I did a little bit after dinner, but that was most of them. And I have extended the borders as well. So here's the farthest corner and I have obviously not gone all the way down. When I work on this later today, I will be filling in this flower border before I continue on with the words and the other flower border. I doubt I'll get that all done tonight, but I'm hoping to get the majority of, uh, I will get all of this and hopefully a chunk of the words done tonight because words go quickly. Thank goodness, because this one has a lot of words. <coughs> Excuse me, still have a tickle of a cough. And then I will extend all the borders and then I have the what spring house and the fall house or is it summer and fall so I think this might be spring and winter I don't recall but two more seasons of houses over here and then this one will be done so will I get it done by the end of November unlikely but I'm gonna push for it I mean it's good to have goals it's very good to have goals and that is a very loose goal if I can finish this before the end of November. I'd be pretty chuffed. Gotta say I would. And if it isn't, then I'll finish it in December because I did want this one done this year. And I don't remember the other thing that I really wanted to finish this year, but I remember this was one of them. So that's my push to get a finish. And I'm loving it and it's very, very pretty. I'm using the Cold for Fabric, which was a 40 count I don't know. And I think I have that piece of paper sitting next to my stand. I think it was a, oh yeah, 40 count Steinbeck by Needle and Flax, I want to say. It's lovely. I really, really like the color. I, I like a good neutral though. So it's a good one. Loving it. Ooh, I just noticed that I left my needle on here. Luckily it's still needle and I thought this needle minder was appropriate for this piece it says high functioning introvert and this is all about staying inside and stitching seemed to fit quite well for my brain so that is all of the stitching that I have done because I finished supernatural and I've been working on that the last thing that I can show you whip wise is my knitting every other thing I'm knitting, knitting right now is all gifts so those aren't being shown Living in this lovely butterfly bag is a Sophie scarf that I have barely started. So here is my teeny tiny start on a Sophie scarf. That's it. That's all I have so far. I am using Thought to Threads Surrey base, which they call their Surrey Veil yarn. It is a lace weight. It is just Surrey Alpaca, and it is 437 yards. And this is in his variegated black, which is lovely because it's got some purple tones to it, though I don't think you can see them <sighs> on, on, on the video. Ah, no, 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 we're caught. We're caught in the zipper, people. Calm, patience, quiet. Uh-oh. Ah, there we go. Almost tragic. Almost tragic. And I am using a size uh, US 5 3.75 millimeter needles, and I am using my Leica, tip, Leica, Leica tips. The really, really short ones because it's a tiny little scarf, so I don't need more. And these are the stitch stoppers. I am not stitch stoppers, the needle stoppers I'm using right now because they amuse me.
random noise from the side of me. And I don't know why. I was cleaning earlier today, and I have placed a couple things over there rather precariously, as I didn't feel like pulling out a couple of bins to put away some Vicky Clayton silks. So it's a little bit of a pile that needs to go in. Anyhow, this is a very simple scarf. You're not going to be able to see any details because it's Surrey. And I have this stitch marker to show me. That's the front because it's just garter stitch and I-cord. So uh, it's hard to tell which side's the front in garter because it is. So I marked it with a stitch marker and I'm just following the pattern. I might make this longer than is called for. I did weigh my skein of yarn before I started and I will get to what the pattern calls is the halfway point and then I'll weigh my skein and I'll see if I decided I want it a little bit longer or not. Um, I'm also doing a slightly different repeat ratio than is called for in the Sophie's scarf because I want this to be a little bit wider than longer or longer than wider. I don't remember. I did some maths so that my repeat ratio is different than is called for in the pattern. It's, it's, I'm doing my own thing, but I'm basing it off the Sophie scarf. I mean, I'm following mostly her directions and it'll be a lovely little fancy little scarf thing. I can feel super fancy and like I can walk around Paris and be a fashion icon or keep my neck worn, whichever is more likely. That would be keeping my neck warm and not touring Paris as much as I love Paris and want to go back again desperately. Oh, Paris, I loved Paris. And yeah, that's, that's everything I can show of my projects. Yeah. Tis the season of, of gifts and I have had a bad habit of accidentally showing things that people are receiving that watch. And therefore, I'm just not going to show them until after they've been gifted. So I'll have to film something about that or take pictures or something. I'll have to do something so that you all can see what I've been working on. And, and yeah, I did go to the ocean last week and had some downtime, lots of sleeping, still recovering from COVID, but lots of sleeping because of that. Less, less was done. Lots of sleeping. I'm recovering though. Thumbs up. Right. So let's get into plans. What are my plans for the next two weeks? Well, my plans are to work more on a sampler for all seasons. I will be coming back before the end of the month. So this may or may not be finished in a happy, perfect world. It would be finished, but Thanksgiving is coming and I'm hosting this year. So Perhaps it won't be finished, but hopefully, hopefully a chunk, hopefully all the words will be finished and I'll just be working on the seasons, the house seasons. We'll see. So I'll be working on that. I'll be working on all the gifts that I am working on right now. And I promise, I promise, I will do the tubular bind off for my Dunrobin. I will. I promise. I know I've been saying that for like a month now. It's all that's left. I know. I know. Have I done it? No. I, I might try to do it today or tomorrow. I promise. I promise. Cross my heart. Hope my next skein of yarn tangles if I do not keep this. You promise. I promise I will have my tubular bind off done from my done Robin next time I film. Do not promise blocking, but I do promise that the tubular bind off will be done. May my next yarn tangles. Yeah, that's pretty much my plans. Um, I have plans also to be doing Flossmas, Vlogmas, Flossy Vloggymas this December, like I have done in the past. I have several adventy things that have already arrived that I will be opening. I'm very excited. I have some self-striping socks that I will be making. I have a couple of yarn advent calendars. I have the Modern Folk Embroidery Roxy Floss Co. Evertote Advent that I will be doing. Oh, that one's been difficult. I will admit that one's been difficult.
recycled because I have had that one for a while and it's just been sitting there going, hi. And I haven't, all I've done to open it was to make sure that nothing had fallen out. Like I opened the box and went, yep, everything's there and stopped. Mm, I really want to start. I want to start all the adventy things. And yet I need to finish all these things. So I, I will wait. I will wait. But yes, I will be doing flossy vloggy missness this year. And some of it might actually be vlog this e because I, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to work that first Friday because that first Friday is the first. And I work on Fridays. And I will also be doing the Jingle Ball that Friday. And so I don't know how I can film, edit, and upload the first on the first. So I may slightly cheat on Fridays and film them the evening before. I haven't decided. Oh, I also have another tea advent. Only one this time because I didn't have surgery and spend time on the internet after surgery on surgery meds buying multiple tea advents this year. But I do have one. I do have one. I do have my Plum Deluxe. That is the only tea advent I have this year. Thank goodness. Though evidently they're giving me cups, two cups worth of tea in every day this year. I'm excited. It's in a little tin. It's going to be adorable. Can't wait. Have to wait. It's still about two weeks away. A little over. But I'm looking forward to Vlogmas. I, I enjoy it every year. And during that time, I won't be doing regular episodes because filming every day is hard. And I understand if you don't watch Vlogmas, it, there's a lot. There's a lot of them out there. Flossmas, Vlogmas, whichever, whatever you want to call it. Daily filmings of December. There's a lot of them. So I understand not being able to keep up with them. Hit and miss. I get it. That's what I'll be doing too. I mean, I'm super behind on just regular floss tube right now and, and, and all my vlogs that I watch. Way behind on all of them. So if, if you can't, if you don't want to watch, if you can't watch, I get it. I'll see you in the new year after next time because I'll still be here at the end of the month. What is time? Time is very confusing to me. But I will see you once more this month before Vlogmas. But if you then during Vlogmas don't want to watch... I think you understand, right? Okay, I'm gonna pause for a second, take care of a couple things, and then I will be back to show you some stash, and then not much about life, but a couple things. One moment, I'll be back. I'm back. Look what I did. I put them on a ring, because you can. Oh my goodness. I feel so silly about that. But they're on my ring, alphabetical order. I'll hang them up on my floss, floss wall in a second. I'm done. Right, so what was I gonna talk about? I was going to talk about some stash. Yes, people, I have a little stash. First thing I'm gonna talk about though is um, a little while ago, I don't remember if it was during a regular episode or if it was during my plans for 2024 episode where I showed all sorts of projects that I may or may not start during my 50 starts for the coming year. But somewhere during that time, I'd mentioned that I thought I bought some fabric so that I could start Spring, Qu Spring Queen by Mirabilia and couldn't find, couldn't find any evidence in my in my email that I had ever done that. Couldn't remember the dyer that I chose. Couldn't remember anything. So decided that I probably hadn't and that it would just been something I'd been thinking of and hadn't actually followed through because I couldn't find any proof of it. Well, I want to know what showed up? Some fabric. And it was very obviously I was thinking of doing this one for my Spring Queen. And what I chose was from Bestitch Me. Evidently, that was the fabric I was looking at. And I chose a, what was this, a 28 count of Gaia. 
And I was thinking of doing this for the spring queen. Now, you remark, re, re, if you, words, they're not my friend. If you recall, this is what spring queen looks like. So she's lots of yellows and some pinks and such. And I thought those would look really pretty on here and this somehow screams spring-ish to me. But then I looked at summer. I thought, well, maybe summer would work on there. And then I was like, mm, I don't know. Her blues might get all meh and that might not be good. So then I went back to perhaps spring, spring on this. And I'm thinking I'm, gonna, I'm leaning that way. But I'm also thinking I might do summer on this one. This is an old piece. It is a, I don't even know what it is. This is a, it's a 32 count instead of a 28 count. And I don't remember what I did my winter queen on. So they may not all be the same size and you know what, that's okay. If I ever get them all done and hang them together, they might just be slightly different sizes. Not the end of the world. They will be framed the same. Doubt I can afford to frame them all at the same time. Anyhow, this is a 32 count um, sugar maple fabrics in the color Luna. And I think she, if this is big enough, and I think it is, would look really good on this. I don't know though. Would I lose some of the blues? My winter queen was done so long ago. She's just done on plain white. There's nothing going on with her. She's just white. If I were to do her now, I would probably put her on a sparkly white. But all I did was white because that's, that's what you did back in the 90s. Or whenever this came out. When did this come out? I don't have a clue. Um, whenever this came out, I did winter queen really early and none of the rest. So I'm not starting her yet. I'm not starting summer. But I think she's going to be on that. But I do have my spring queen. And I printed, I, I photocopied the pattern years ago. Even labeled it. Look, spring queen. And I have some beads. Don't know if it's all the beads. I'll have to check that out. But I am, no, it's not all the beads. Because I just looked. There's six packages. Technically seven, because you do two packages for one. But I have a couple of the beads. So I'll have to get the rest of the beads. And finish kitting this one up. But now that I know... Yeah, I did. I did get fabric. Huge piece of fabric, too. Oh, my Lord. Like, I got like half a yard here. <laughs> More than I need. But I think this is going to be one of my starts next year because gorgeous. Yeah. And then when I was cleaning, I was finding all sorts of things. When I was cleaning up all of my, all of my, my craft stuff, I found all the beads for my um, Santa's Magic. Mirabilia Santrum's magic. And I found all the beads for um, Stargazer. So I put those all together. <sighs> Whether or not those will be starts this year, I don't know. But yes, I did buy fabric. I also bought a second fabric with the Gaia from Bestitch Me. I bought 40 Count Dusk. And I think my plan for this one was Maybe the Rebel Stitchers sampler that I bought a handful of months ago. Or perhaps one of I'll I'll put the the designer's name here. Cause I'm blanking. I know exactly which piece I'm thinking of. It's beautiful, it has kind of a purpley fabric. It's Blue Flower. Ha! I got the designer. It's one of Blue Flower's, uh, Jenny McGowan. I could remember her name, but not her company. Um, <laughs> I, I'm thinking this might be for one of those, for, for one of hers, a specific, specific one of hers, or it is for that Rebel Stitcher sampler. I don't recall. But I believe that's what I bought this for. So that's going to go live in my disaster of 
plans that I have for next year. That is one thing I haven't touched in my cleaning of my craft room is I've just been piling all the things that I want to start next year into a bin and then the bin got full and I just kept piling things on top of said bin so that now the bin is just erupting in chaos. So I need to go through it and organize it a little bit better and that'll probably happen later this week. So that will go in there. So a couple skeins, a couple skeins, those aren't skeins, a couple things of fabric and yes I did buy fabric for Spring Queen I just couldn't find it yep. my be stitch me fabric of the month showed up I get a 40 count and this is called sugar cream pie and it is there we go <laughs> let me put white next to it so you can kind of see what the color is it is a very creamy yellowy kind of color quite pretty. And my, because I started getting Fox and Rabbit, my October Fox and Rabbit, Rabbit Fox Floss Fabric, not Floss, Fabric of the Month showed up. And I get 40 count again. And this is Arctic Fox and I love it. This is a gorgeous bluey gray. There we go. Oh, I love this one. This one is just so pretty. Those can go into the drawers of fabric that I have. The last two things I have stash wise, one was my yarnable box, which I started getting again because it's pretty. So I got it. These are the extras that came in the yarnable box this time. One is a cinnamon spice soap from Little House on the Homestead. It smells so good. I wish this was smell vision so there's the soap, and it sniffs real good. Now, well, if you like cinnamon. I like cinnamon, so it smells really good. And the other thing that came was cinnamon swirl candle. It also smells delicious. I think I'm going to be lighting this tonight. It is notes of vanilla, cinnamon, and sugar hand poured in Richland Center, Wisconsin. And this is Angel Angela Rose? Yes, Angela Rose Studios, and she has a website called AngelaRose.com. So, cinnamon swirl. Mm, smells real good. Though, if a cinnamon roll smelled that sweet, it'd be too much for me. But I think as a candle, it'll be fantastic. And then the yarn, which she puts in a bag so that you can be surprised. You can probably guess from the cinnamon spice and the cinnamon swirl. Perhaps this might have a cinnamon theme. You'd be right. This is Sinful Delight and these, this is the yarn for November. Mm, I love it too. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. I am tempted to do mm, either the Coffee Talk socks or maybe morning. Uh, there's a there's a sock that it's like morning coffee socks, something like that. I I want this to be some sort of dessert or morning sock. Why? Because sometimes I like my yes, sweetie. Sorry, Stella is here and she's insisting that I pet her and I'm not. It's tragic. And you might occasionally see a tail. Um, anyhow, what was I saying? Oh, I occasionally uh, amuse myself by having my sock pattern if I don't just do a vanilla, but having my sock pattern match somehow the theme of the sock color or the sock name. It amuses me and I like socks, so might as well. Yes, sweetie. Yes, sweetie. So that is my November yarnable and I am excited for it. Don't know when I'll start it, but I'm excited for it. The last thing that I got, sweetie, sweetie. You need to, you need to let me reach the thing I need to reach for. Nah, I dove, found it. I am on the Homespun Needlework Facebook page, whatever that Facebook page is called, where they do um, exclusives. And then 
I mean, they're only exclusive for a year. Like a year later, the designers release them. So this is just for, I mean, that's where I got a sampler for all seasons. I, I got that kitted up through that, that, that group a while ago. I don't get everything they do, but I like a lot of them. And yeah, I'm lazy. I, I buy the kits because, um, it's all taken care of and everything's together and it's nice and easy. Um, do I buy all the kits? No, cause I don't need them all. And yeah, they're exclusive, but you'll get the chart next year. So there's, there's no real need to buy it. And yeah, anyhow, all of that to say, I bought one of the latest ones. And it arrived and it was the Erica Michaels one. Winter Wishes. And I just like Star of Wonder, Star of Like, make a snowflake fall tonight. So I've been singing this Christmas carol since this arrived. And I opened it the other day. I don't want to be singing Christmas this early, but I can't help myself. Star of Wonder, Star of Mine. Star with royal beauty bright. Westward leading, still proceeding. Guide us to... I was in choir, but the other thing I liked was the whoop, that's, put it this way, was the tissue paper that it was wrapped in from, well, it'd be probably pretty helpful if I told you what the company was, Shepherd's Needle. That's the, that's the store that they, they worked with, the Shepherd's Needle. I liked it. It was cute. It's like, oh, look, there's an elk and there's a... It's very woodsy, very, very woodsy. And I just, I just liked the, the tissue paper. Thought I'd show it off because I, and I, I liked it. Would you not do that, sweetheart? My Stella Kitty likes to mouth next to plastic. So I have some yarn and some plastic in a, in a container over here because now all my yarn is st stored in plastic just because can't trust the moths, man. Can't trust the moths. Haven't seen any since I tore everything apart and put everything in, in things. But now I'm... So, it, yeah. So, yarn. Unless it's actively being worked on or in a bag. It, it lives in plastic now. It makes me sad. But I'd rather have my yarn than moths. But the cat likes to mouth next to... She doesn't eat the plastic. No, no. The plastic is here. And she just mouths next to it like she's pretending to eat it drives me crazy. Anyhow, enough about the cat. Um, that's all my stash. That's enough. Um, so let's get on to life. I already told you I was down on the Oregon coast last week. It was fun and blustery and rainy and just the way you want it to be on the Oregon coast. Wet and rainy and fantastic. Luckily, every time I had to go outside, it wasn't currently raining while I was running around outside. So I enjoyed that. I am still recovering from COVID, so I wasn't as... Sorry, I'm giving the kitty pets. I wasn't as energetic as I normally am, so there were a lot less walks on the beach. But I still walked out on the beach and saw Haystack Rock and did all that. Went to Castaways like I do every time I go to Cannon Beach because it's very, very tasty. They have these delicious, um, I think they called them Texas egg rolls. Uh, it was just a really good appetizer, but it had Carolina Reaper sauce. I wish I could have bottled that stuff. It was so good. It was so good. Yes, there was heat because it was Carolina Reaper. That's going to be hot. Not the hottest pepper anymore second hottest because the guy who created the Carolina Reaper has now created an even hotter pepper because I don't remember what it's called but that's what this guy does he creates super hot peppers so Carolina Reaper is no longer the hottest pepper there's one more beyond that don't know the name anyhow it's a hot pepper <laughs> but this stuff was really really good yes spicy but it still had flavor it wasn't just heat it was tasty I wish I could have bottled that stuff it was good anyhow I ate way too much and ugh. I'm too old to eat that way anymore, and I've been suffering ever since. Not because of the spice, just the poor eating. So I've been eating very healthy since then. Oh my goodness, kitty. Oh gosh. Oh, she's drooly now. I'm sorry, I gotta stop. You're drooly. You're super drooly. And desperately needs a brush. She always needs a brush. Uh, other than that, life is still recovering from COVID. 
How long does that take, people? Still tired. Still very little bit of a cough. Very little, but still there. When does it go away? And my brain, my brain, my brain. Very, very much fog. Very much fog with the brain. Not a fan. <laughs> very difficult. Do not like. Zero out of ten stars. Would not recommend. I am doing tons better. Don't get me wrong. I am doing tons better. But I run out of energy super fast. Super fast. Um, yeah. Like I said, in here I have been doing a whole lot of organizing and cleaning and it's looking really good. I have run into one thing though. I, I save, like when I finish a project, and I have extra yarn. I save it and I, I was putting it in a bin for a while and now I've emptied that bin and I've put it all into it. it one, one of these types of bags. And it's full. It's beyond full. In fact, there was spillover. I have a lot of extra yarn just from things. Some are large enough remains that I could make things with them and I should. I should go through those before I go through these. I should stop buying yarn is what I should do. That's not going to happen. However, I have a lot of bits of yarn, but it's too much yarn for me to want to throw away because it could be like an entire cuff on a pair of socks, like boat cuffs, or it could, like, it, it's functional yarn. It's, it's useful yarn. It's, it's not, and so I keep it and it goes in a bin or it goes in a bag. And there it lives. And I do have some scrappy blanket blankets that I'm working on. But I have a lot of leftovers with my yarn. And I ask knitters out there, what more can I do with it? What more can I do? Scrappy blankets. Okay. Working on those. Heels, cuffs, and toes. Yeah, working on those as, as well, except I have tons of minis. I point at the bin of minis. It's a, not a bin, it's a, it's one of these things. It's one of these, one of these square things I have. It's full of minis. And they are all in there and they aren't coming out as long as they aren't part of an advent calendar and those stay together so that I can do an advent calendar thing with them. I should stop buying those as well, am I? Probably not. People, what do I do with my leftover, leftover yarn? I mean, seriously, I, what I should do. I don't know. Let me see if I can do this. Hold one moment. Can you see that? Can you see that? Look at that. Packed full, packed full of yarn. And yes, yes, look at some of those. Look at some of those. They are in almost, almost full cakes. That could make another pair of socks. That could make arm warmers. That could make hand warmers, not arm warmers. Hand warmers, arm warmers too, why not? That's a lot of leftovers. What do I do with it all? Seriously, people. Seriously. Mm. <laughs> But I've been finding interesting things. Like I said, I found all those, all those um, beads that I, I thought I'd had. No clue. Beads and Crinex for um, some Mirabilias that I've had for years. Lost them. I found a cross stitch piece plus the finishing stuff, the finished cross stitch piece, plus the finishing, finishing stuff for a piece that I then put in my bin of finishes and there shall live in infamy for the rest of eternity. Unless I brave I <laughs> finishing. It's a four letter word. I know, I know Laura from She does all the paper stuff and she does the Her name's Laura and I don't remember her foss tube name. She, she does nice, easy things for her finishes, and I'm still intimidated. You have to take everything out and know what you're doing and match things. Hey, <laughs> need to get over it. Right, I'm babbling now because I don't want to completely finish this because I don't want to start the rest of my day. 
even though it's already later than it should be and I really should eat something. If you could hear my stomach, you'd be like, lady, you need to go have some lunch. And that's what I should do. So that's what I'll go do. It's been fabulous chatting with you all again. And I hope I see you in two weeks. And I hope I see you during Flossy Vlog Emus. And I hope I see you during the Jingle Ball. I'll be there. I'll be there late on Friday, but I'll be there. And I, I hope to see you, see you maybe even, but you'll have to tell me who you are. Otherwise I won't know. And I'll fangirl at all the people that I watch too, because I'll sit in a corner and I won't say anything in one of the rooms because that's how I do. Right. I'm going to let y'all go and I will see you all in two weeks. I hope if you're in the U S and you celebrate that you have a decent Thanksgiving later all.